Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, it is Friday and it is time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We have a new channel sponsor for this edition of Friday's Finds. If by the title you've already figured out, we're gonna be cooling things down. Our new sponsor is Zero Breeze. I got this great big old box yesterday. Let's get it open and see what's inside. All right, all right, I got a sharp object. Sometimes people say don't give dude RV sharp objects. He's a danger to society. I don't think anybody's ever seen that. At least the society part. So we got a box inside of a box. We'll go with the, the little box first. I'm pretty sure I know what this is going to be. smart battery and a cable set that off to the side keep that out of the way oh just the there we go. As we're opening the box, we've got remotes, instruction manual, those are always handy. We got tubes, more styrofoam. And here is the like we've been waiting for. This is the Zero Breeze battery powered air conditioner. And I gotta do a little, I gotta do some reading. I gotta learn about how to operate this. Uh, and once I've educated myself on the Zero Breeze operating procedures, I'll cut back in and I'll educate you. So stand by. The Zero Breeze Mark II is the most, as far as I know, as far as my knowledge goes, this is the most portable actual air conditioner available. And it is a true air conditioner. It's not one of those, it's not a swamp cooler where you're pumping more humidity into the atmosphere. I mean, we're in Texas. The last thing you want is more humidity on a hot day. You want to remove that from your space, that humidity, which is where, why I'm so excited about the Zero Breeze Mark II. Because if, if you've been watching the channel, you know I have this really cool tent that I'm excited about using, but in Texas, man, it just gets so hot and humid during the summer. Tent camping is not real practical, at least if you're spoiled like, like I am. But the Zero Breeze Mark II comes with a battery and it is actually a compressor air conditioner which means it pulls the humidity out of the air now it's a small portable air conditioner it's only like 1200 BTU so you're not going to be cooling your house with this unless you're putting a couple in each room so you're looking at a at less than 100 square feet I, I, they, they said they told me about 60 square feet so a small, a tent, a van, a cab of your truck, 
a tent now there are a couple of things that that we have if you're using it just outside like this there's a duct that goes on the front here that allows you to direct that cool air i just have the fan blowing right now on high cool the battery is going to last about four hours and then you have to recharge it now they do have a an ac to dc brick so you can power this with ac power meaning if you're in a if 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 you have a campsite that has electricity you can plug that in it fits a little it's going to fit in the truck a little better than just a regular window unit when we put it in the tent, and I'll show you all this when I get the tent set up, we've got to run the exhaust ports out because just the way this works, it pulls air in and blows air out uh, from the outside so that you get cooling. There's also a condensate condensation line as it removes the humidity from the atmosphere, that condensation's got to go somewhere. And you you don't want it to go on the floor of your tent. I'll set up the tent and we will dive deep into the Zero Breeze performance. I'm really excited about this. That means that I can go tent camping in the summer in Texas. How cool is that? <laughs> you see what I did there? All right, stay tuned, more to come. Man, oh man, is it windy, windy. So I've set up, I've, I've put up the tent put up the bell tent and since I, I have no tree big trees on my property and I have no no shady spot to put the tent up to help minimize the heat gain from the sun I decided to throw the silver tarp on there it also helps with the wind deflect some of the wind off of it so let's go inside the tent here and and talk about the zero breeze. Now I am running the zero breeze off of the 110. And it shows that we're at 70. There's a, there's a thermometer you can see down in there. It shows that we're at 73 degrees, which is, that's, that's not too bad. That's, that's not too bad considering that it's 98 degrees with like 60% humidity today. You can see we're pulling lots of water lots of humidity is getting pulled out of the out of the air so over the last couple of days i have uh i put the the zero breeze mark ii to to the test uh, basically just running it to see how long it runs in the various modes and i found if you run it on uh, the turbo you get about two hours if you run it on just regular cool you get about four hours this is on the battery pack this is this is running off of battery power so the one battery will last you about four hours on a regular cool you get about six hours maybe almost seven on the night mode and the night mode doesn't blow as hard but it, it lasts longer and puts out enough cool air to, to, to make it comfortable, at least in here, if it's blowing directly on you. Uh, it has, it, it's, it's cooler in here than it would otherwise be. There's no question about that. They give you several accessory options you can get a second battery pack right now i just have the battery pack and the battery charger and that gives me the option to either charge the battery or run the ac i can't charge the battery and run the ac i don't have that adapter 
they have an adapter for that. You can actually charge two batteries while running the AC on 110. They offer a 12 volt, now this is a 20 volt, 24 volt unit. You cannot run this off of a 12 volt without a step up transformer because it's a 24 volt system. It has a, a lot of advantages over a traditional air conditioner, like a little window unit. There's, there's not any place that I can put a window unit in this in this tent. Now I have a, a small portable AC unit that I'd actually used in Ms. V, the Class C RV. And it would work in here with 110 power. So this has a battery and it can run at night for about six hours to keep you comfortable. It's not going to freeze you out, but it's going to be way cooler and remove the humidity from the air, which that's one of the differences between this and a traditional portable air conditioning unit. Those traditional portables actually evaporate condensation into the exhaust pipe, whereas here you have to have a, a container to catch it. Otherwise, it drips on the floor. The Zero Breeze has three ducts on it, as, as you can see. So you have an intake and an exhaust because it's pulling in the air from outside and exhausting it outside. And that is taking the heat from the compressor and exhausting it out. With your conventional portable AC unit pulling the inside air and you're pumping it out so you take some of your you take a lot of your cold air and you pump it out with the hot air this doesn't pull in any more air so you're not pulling in that hot air so it doesn't have to work quite as hard in this particular situation I've, I've created some separation between the intake I've got that down low in the shade and the exhaust going out through the uh, chimney hole so that works out really great but I'm pretty certain if I was set up in the in a shady spot and I didn't have all this wind blowing constantly across the surface of the tent uh, taking my cool air away I'm I'm 100% positive that uh, we would be in the temperature in here would be in the 60s to probably the low 70s because the air coming out of here it's showing, uh, it's showing 75. And we can bump that up to rocket mode. And that will increase the cooling amount. Is it worth the money? And I'm going to, with a caveat, say yes. And that caveat is, there's actually two caveats. One is if, if you're doing a lot of camping in the summer and you want some cool air at night and being portable is important to you then I think that the Zero Breeze is a great investment if if money's tight and you're, 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 you're tent camping with a Walmart tent and I'm not saying that's a bad thing uh, that's a that's a, a good thing if you're actually camping and you, you you get out there and you camp for the the least amount of money you can I, I I I get it. If you're camping in a Walmart tent, this this air conditioner is probably not going to do much for you because it's not airtight enough. So you need a, a substantial tent, a canvas tent uh, that doesn't have a rain fly. It's not a mesh tent with a rain fly. It needs to be a solid structure such as the bell tent that I'm in here from to mount. I don't know that it would be worth the investment if if you're just if you're camping in a lightweight tent. You could if you're going to a campground where there's power, then, then you could take a small portable AC unit with you for less than half the price of this. It would take up about the same amount of space. I need the, I have to have the table to get it up close enough to there and for the condensation. So a portable unit would fit in here. 
without any real issue it would take up the same amount of space a portable unit would take up the same amount of space in this tent as the zero breeze the real advantage of the zero breeze and hey, this is an air conditioner that runs off of a battery this is not a little swamp cooler this is an actual compressor air conditioner that's taking the humidity out of the air and that is so much what we need here in texas with all the all the humidity during the summer it make it gives you a dry place to sleep you're not sweaty and sticky in bed i i think it's a i think it's a good good value for the money i've got a a, a tent camping adventure on the horizon and so we'll be seeing more of the zero breeze on that outing yes i'm using the bell tent on this journey because I really like the bell tent. <laughs> I do, I like it. So I had the best intentions to give you the personal hands-on experience with the Zero Breeze by coming out here into the Caddo National Grasslands up in far Northeast Texas. I was gonna spend a couple nights out here using the Zero Breeze camping sleeping in a tent, being cool, <laughs> and then a cold front. A, a weird late May cold front blew through and our low temperatures are gonna be in the upper 50s and our highs right now are in like, it's like 69 degrees at three o'clock in the afternoon. The air is dry. I don't have much need for my, <laughs> for the Zero Breeze air conditioner. But there's one thing I did not have yet to talk about on the Zero, I love this, this air conditioner by the way. When I was doing my testing, it was pulling so much humidity out of there, it was filling up my water containers in, in just the one battery cycle. It really, really works well to dehumidify and cool the air in the tent. Now granted, if it's in direct sun, it's gonna struggle. But I'm not in the tent during the day. I'm only in the tent in the evening. Uh, and it's that, you know, the first three hours or so that you're in the tent that it's uncomfortable because the humidity is high until the dew falls and then the temperature will drop. So you got to get to sleep. And after that, you're good. And the zero breeze really facilitates that. There's one other thing that I have yet to touch on, and this, that's the battery bank. So th this is also, I don't know how many watts this battery bank is, but it's, it's plenty. Compared to the other two battery solar generators that I have with me, this one's probably close to a thousand watts. I have a 250, three, a 350 and a 500. But if I'm out here for a couple days and I need some more power, well, I've got two USBs and a USB-C port on this. There's also a 12 volt plug port. And that can be detached from the air conditioner and, and use just to power your phone and computer and stuff. I think that's a valuable feature with this because during the winter you don't need an air conditioner but you you really need battery storage so that's just a convenient battery storage in the off season when you're not using it to power your air conditioner i am working with zero breeze they have sponsored this video and i am an affiliate and my affiliate link is in the description below and it's in the description of if you decide you want to get one of these use the code dude rv10 they do have a, a money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, they'll accept returns. They're not happy about doing it, but, but they'll honor that. If you're hot and you need something to cool you off, I think this is a good value. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I really appreciate you stopping by and sticking with me through my air conditioner adventure. And now that we're out here on a real adventure, you might want to consider clicking on the subscribe button because I produce other content as well, not just portable refrigerator and tent kind of videos. I, I actually get out and do stuff, fun stuff. I go see stuff. 
So consider clicking on that subscribe button. I'd be most honored. And for those of you who have been following along, well, by golly, that's why I came out to the Caddo National Grasslands. I've never been here before. And maybe you should watch the video to decide whether or not you should come here. All right, and for my patrons, thank you. It's most appreciated. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?